While many people are eager to hear about what Governor Kasich has to say during this address, a protest took place just a short while ago close to the site of the State of the State. Now, 7 News reporter D.K. Wright continues our live team coverage this noon and tells us why those protesters are upset. D.K. Good afternoon. Just up one block and over one block, there's more than 100 protesters gathered, and their message is somewhat different. They're not pleased with Governor John Kasich. They say he's cut almost a billion dollars from local community funds, and they say that has cut things, uh, essential services like fire and police, road repairs, health services, and community centers. So they are less than pleased with the governor's progress so far. Uh, they call this a rally for fairness. Anthony Caldwell, one of the organizers, joins us now. Anthony, what's the message of, of the ralliers? So the message today is that John Kasich is no stranger to the people of the Ohio Valley. His failed policies when he was in Congress cost our valley jobs at the mills and through manufacturing. And now as governor, his policies of stripping collective bargaining rights, attacking voting rights, and the budget that's taken a billion dollars out of our local communities, that's caused a lot of those potholes we hit on coming up Route 7 today. Uh, those are the issues that we're here to talk about today, the, the failure of John Kasich's policies. All right. Uh, we, we looked in on those uh, protesters, a very peaceful protest. Uh, they will be there throughout the governor's speech. Uh, after that, we'll have all the information for you coming up on 7 News at 5 and 6. Reporting live in Steubenville for 7 News.